Hey guys, welcome back to Passing Money. Today we're going to be talking about what debt or what paying off debt does for you and your families. And maybe we'll go into depth as to what it does for us as well to give insight on how it can improve your life. So Kirby, I'm going to hand it off to you from here. Uh, well, I'm going to talk about what it does for me and my family. Now, for the viewers, you can easily replicate what we do so i'll talk about what to do maybe it inspire maybe an influence maybe it'll uh give somebody an idea of what what the the non-consumer debt life is really like um like for me it gives us peace honestly i mean on this channel we talked about in nauseam how i got out the military and you know just a few years out of the military i was two hundred fifty thousand dollars in debt um for me as a male, as a husband, as, you know, a father, I was in a bad place. I mean, a real bad place, like no sleep, always trying to find the next get rich quick scheme to try to figure out the situation and put us in a better place. Robbing Peter to pay Paul, you know, pushing car payments back to the end of the, you know, payment cycle to give me, you know, extra 30 days. Uh, balance transfers on credit cards i was a pro at that but um but those were the things that i was doing when i was in debt you know and it was hard hard on the family hard on the marriage hard on everything because i mean i was taking out all my frustrations out on everybody else and the thing was was i couldn't admit it but i was mad at myself for putting us in that situation more than i was mad at the people that i thought that was against me at the time but, you know, guys, we stubborn. We don't we can't admit that we have fault. But the day I admitted that I was at fault and it was my reason for being there. That's what transitioned me out of there. Um, but now all the all of those debts are eliminated. You know, all that consumer stuff is out of the way. I mean, it's a true freedom. It's a, a way of. You know, we look at money way different. You know, we look at life way different. We're not sitting here wondering oh where can we get the next minimum payment to pay the minimum balances just so they won't send us a shut off notice they won't send us a uh credit a delinquency notice or nothing like that it's more of hey where can we put this at to make make assets grow you know when we're not sitting here wondering hey can we go out to dinner and do we got to put it on credit cards uh like last night alex wife twisted my arm forced me uh, to take my family out to a restaurant. <laughs> no, she didn't force me at all. It only took one word and I was on it. But um, but we don't have to worry about how we go pay for it, you know, <laughs> and get to go. We, we can get to go out and eat and we don't have to sit there and count how much it's going to cost before we order just to make sure we have enough money to cover it. Um, being able to go on trips and things like that. But Alex, I'll come back to other things that it's done for me, but I'll let you get in there you know, being a debt-free guy, you are. No, I think you hit it on the head when you said it gives you guys peace. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, you don't have to worry about having those extra bills. And it's not just the extra bills. It's the fact of if, you know, for most people, they're relying solely on their nine to five job to make those payments on that debt. And mm -hmm. most Americans, I think it was 70 plus percent of Americans don't even have $500 saved. So you lose your job and you have no savings and you've got $10,000 in credit card debt. I mean, that's going into collections unless you find a job quickly. So, you know, the piece of not having that consumer debt is it's a different thing. You can enjoy life more not having that consumer debt because you don't have the worry of, like you said, going out to eat. You don't have the worry of going on vacations and being able to just pay for your vacations without debt and not have that worry, just enjoying your vacation rather than, you know, worrying about the, the financial burden it's going to have on you is a different way to go about life. But yeah, most people, they they have these monthly payments and it's like it's become an aspect of their life that's normalized like they have rent lights water and credit card bills 
and it shouldn't be you know if you didn't have credit card bills if you didn't have that car payment that was you know that's unnecessarily out of your budget then how much could you be saving or what you know what could you use that money for you could use it for saving for investing you could use it if you want to go out to eat if you want or whatever like rather than paying it towards someone else you have it for yourself and people don't see that debt does keep you a slave to the lender right and and i tell you a funny story so when we was in our super broke days and and the funny thing is it took me it took me i think a million dollars before i admitted this to my wife so when we was in our super broke days we went to six flags and, you know six flags i'm thinking that it's a you know all-inclusive theme park you pay to get in all the rides you know you get on all the rides you just gotta wait in those long lines but you can get on all the rides but it was this one ride i think it's called slingshot where it brings you up and it swings you across the park it costs like 75 dollars to get on there so I, my wife wanted to get on there so i swiped the credit card but i'm cognizant of uh i only got like 80 bucks on this, left on this card so i swiped the card and get on there and then we do it we do the swing across the park. It was a great ride. It was a great ride. It was so great. We get off and then I saw the enthusiasm in my wife's eyes and she wanted to go again. We wanted to go again. It was a great ride. I had to pretend that I hated it so we wouldn't get back on there because I knew if I swiped that card again, it was going to say decline. And so I would just walk around open again. Yeah, no, I hated that ride. That ride up. That was the best ride in the world. But the funny thing is, so we didn't go on the ride again because, you know, I, I had to throw a man tantrum out there. But then years later, I say probably this this was, you know, circa, you know, 2007, 2008. I didn't tell her till like 2019. The reason why I didn't want to give him that ride. Wow. And it was just that's I mean, that's how embarrassed I was about it and things of that nature. But like I said, it was like millions of dollars later after we didn't accumulate. I was like, oh. Remember that ride? She was like, yeah, it was so fun. I was like, yeah, I just, if I swiped the card again, it was going to be declined. And I was worried about being embarrassed about getting declined. So I just act like I didn't like it. Now we can, now we go places. And uh, especially when we was in Europe, we go to the carnivals and stuff. I make sure I go above and beyond, especially for my kid. Uh, when I was growing up, you know, eating at the concession stands and all that, doing carnivals, that wasn't allowed because Family just didn't have the money. Now, I re I go when I go to places like that. It's always, hey, my son said he wants something. Go ahead. My wife want to do something. Go ahead. Let's not. We don't even have to think about the money because we don't have to worry about swiping on a credit card debt. Oh, we can't pay it. We can't pay it. So I always go above and beyond on things of that nature. And you know, my son gets extra spoiled. And but if we was in that same situation we was via you know. 2007 2008 and that time then my son would be screwed because i still be trying to hope the credit card don't get declined and i just throw a tantrum before i expose that oh i'm just broke so that's <laughs> so that's what i did but like the the debt not having that debt over your head and this is my last piece alex i know i'm running over um the fact because you said it you know everybody's dependent on a nine to five once you get rid of that consumer debt and the only thing you have is the you know bare necessities you know you got you know your rent or your mortgage you have you know lights gas water you have groceries so let's say that comes out to roughly two thousand dollars a month but when you're in debt and you have you know you work in corporate america you work in your nine to five you lose that job, everything else is screwed over. But when you don't have no debt, and the only thing you got is necessities to pay, you can get a job anywhere and can come up with $2,000 a month to pay for the necessities. That is the beauty of it. It removes all obligations. When I was heavily in debt, I was, oh, I gotta find a job, I gotta hold a job down. You know, I gotta take shit from the managers and stuff like that, just because I'm a slave to the I'm slave to the debt. So no matter what you do to me, say to me, how you treat me, I gotta take it because I got other obligations bigger than you. I got obligations that's you know here to take care of my family. So once you get out of that debt and know that you don't need you don't need the job or need that income to survive, 
it opens you up for a lot of things. Opportunities show up. Uh, opportunities that probably was there before, but you couldn't see them because you were so focused on this mountain of debt you had on you, you could never look at it. But then once that debt gone, the horizon is beautiful because it's so much out there that you could be like, oh, well, I don't need that much. But if you keep that much or make more, that's great. You get opportunities. You can move to different jobs or you can miss a paycheck to get a higher paying job. But most people stuck in a job that they're in because they can't even risk missing a paycheck to switch jobs because that's how much debt they're in. And they're so their head is so much at water or barely above water that the loss of one paycheck will make them drown. So not having a debt gives you a lot of opportunities and a lot of freedom that that is out there that a lot of people don't even know exists. Yeah, that's another good point that you said that you can get any job if you don't have debt. That's very accurate because that's one thing that you hear all the time is when people lose their job, they're trying to find another job that pays the same or if not more, which is understandable because they want to keep the same pay. But it's like they won't take any other option. But it's probably because they have such high expenses per month. But yeah, if you don't have if you don't have debts, you're kind of just working just to just to have an income. I mean, not even like because you're so dependent and you're going to die if you if you don't have it, you can really free roam with whatever, you know, whatever job you want to get. Like, uh, I think the funniest one that you said is like when you had your house paid off, you're like, man, I could work at Walmart. <laughs> like. You know, because you know, or be a Walmart greeter is what you said. And I just thought that was so funny. But but it's true. It's because, you know, debt is people's biggest monthly expenses. Like, even if you're paying rent, you're paying someone else's debt. And I'm not trying to, like, bash on renters. But that's why rent is so high is because you're paying someone else's debt. And well, I'm, that's one of the reasons why there's plenty of other reasons. But, um, you know, you got to think if, you know, that's someone else's mortgage. So then if you have a mortgage, you're paying that debt. But if you have no mortgage, no car payment, no credit card bills, it's just bare necessities, like you said, which don't add up to much. So, I mean, the amount of freedom you can have being debt free, consumer debt free is substantial. Right. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, uh, hit the like button. Let us know what you think down below. If you uh, are debt free, if you're working on debt, uh, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.